this is the kneeling hamstring curl. Now with the kneeling hamstring curl, we've got to keep in mind that it's a unilateral exercise, so we have to complete each leg individually. So to ensure that we get the best possible outcome from this exercise, we need to make sure that we utilize our weakest, potentially our weakest leg first. So um, say if you're a right footed kick or if you're a, um, a right side dominant person, hand and foot, what you would do is you would start on the left hand side first. From this position here, what you want to do is you want to feel like you're engaging your glute and your hamstring by bringing your heel up towards your butt. Hold at the top for a second and then release out slowly. With this exercise, there's a number of variables that can be changed. Your foot position determines which part of the hamstring is being activated. Obviously, the, the amount of resistance that you um, are potentially able to lift through the range and then your tempo through the movement. So whether you do a two second or a three second squeeze at the top, if you load, um, if you load down a little bit slower eccentrically, um, and then there's also the potential to do some drop sets by lowering the weight uh, as you go through the, the repetitions. Um, as mentioned, just reiterating, weak leg first and then move over to your dominant side after that.